I'm Steve Swanson, former NASA astronaut and now here at Boise State as a distinguished educator in residence. This is Bo Boise State University. How do you hear me? Boise State, we have you loud and clear. Oh, it's been a wonderful experience for me. The opportunity to fly in space three times was fantastic, but you know, it's it's it was great, but I'm now trying to ready to move on and uh, and give back a little bit more to the next generation, and hopefully they can then achieve their goals and dreams too. It took a little bit of work to become an astronaut. That's the idea, though. But I worked hard at it, and I and I got it. So it was something that can be done. That's the whole idea. That there are many different possibilities out there for them. They don't have to be restricted by what they see or or what they've kind of uh, the way this system works. You can do all sorts of different things out there. Anything is possible if you work hard. That is one thing for sure. The other would be just the idea that science and engineering can be fun. It's a great career. You can have a lot of exciting things with it. And it's a great way to, uh, to expand your horizons. But then why Boise State? I think it's a fantastic university. It's a wonderful place to be. And that whole combination is just uh, perfect for me. I love the mountains and, I, and it's a great university with great research. So I just want to be here to help. So when I was at NASA as an astronaut, we did quite a bit of outreach with students. We believe that's very important at NASA uh, to inspire the next generation. And we believe STEM is very important for our students and our country. It's one of those things that it's going to help us stay strong in, in the world of e economics. And I think they can find a really good and exciting career doing that and it's actually really creative that's one thing I don't think we do a good job of teaching that how creative you have to be to be a good engineer and scientist and that's really a good part of that whole thing so that's what I'd like to bring to the students is the idea to show them the exciting and creativity that's involved in being an engineer so while I was on the space station I did get the opportunity to work with some Boise State students it was called zero robotics for one thing, and we got to uh, uh, run some software that was written by middle school students in the area, and it was uh, their mentors were the Space Broncos here at Boise State. So it was all put on by the university. It was really a good job. And then also when I was up there, I did a uh, basically a video telecon with students here on, uh, on the campus, and got to talk to them, and they got to ask questions, and we had a great uh, talk with the people here. So it was great to work with Boise State students even before I became uh, part of the university. What does the conservation of angular momentum look like in microgravity? Can you give us a demonstration, please? All right, so Steve's doing your standard uh, figure skater. When your hands are in, he spins faster. When his hands are out, he'll slow down a little bit. Now he's got a, now he's doing the... Uh, Hopefully that worked for you. I found it fun. I was at NASA still when the microgravity uh, team came down there to show their tool uh, in the uh, neutral buoyancy laboratory, which is our underwater big pool that we have. And uh, I got to see their tool, got to talk to the students. It was really a good, I think, event for the students. They got to see what a real world project is like. They got to work on it. They got to take it from the beginning design all the way to the end of making the tool. And then they got to see how well it worked. And it really was a really good idea of what they uh, real world is like and it gave them a great experience so now it's on their resume and they can use it to move forward. TC Diver Com check. This is Diver. Range 11 clear TC. The Boise State team did really really well. They actually uh, had met all the objectives and they did it really quickly. There was a 30 minute time limit to get all the objectives done and they did it in seven minutes. It was fantastic. They did a really good job on their tool and they're actually going to do it again this year and really improve on that so I'm looking forward to working with them on that. You are done, gentlemen. That is done. So I'm very happy to be here at Boise State University. Uh, again, for the, the research, the students, uh, the staff, everybody's been fantastic. And I'm just looking forward to uh, helping out wherever I can. And of course, enjoy the beautiful area we have here.